number of COVID-19 cases and counties with them continues to grow. Muhlenberg County reported its two first cases this past weekend. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is live in Greenville with the latest. Muhlenberg County health, health officials say they first learned of the positive cases this past weekend. This happens as county officials start a new task force to help residents get through this. We've been through the flood of 1997, the ice storm that we all remember, where we had total mobilization within our Kentucky National Guard. We haven't been through this. Kathy Bethel of the Muhlenberg County Health Department says the two cases were reported late Sunday afternoon. They were part of 24 tests done at Owensboro Health Muhlenberg County Hospital, where COO Ed Heath says include eight negatives and another 14 yet to be determined. Bethel says the two cases are not connected. We believe that the risk is low once again. And as the situation evolves, we will continue to communicate with everyone that is involved. Bethel says they're contacting anyone who had contact with the two the past two weeks to see if they have symptoms. Muhlenberg County joins a list of more than two dozen Kentucky counties to report cases, which include Davis, Henderson, and Christian counties. We've seen a very strong working relationship among entities here in Muhlenberg County. Judge Executive Curtis uh, McGee says the county task force, led by former National Guard Sergeant Major Greg Armstrong, which includes several county agencies, started late last week to address issues related to coronavirus effects and keeping people informed. We, in fact, we know there's some things that are getting out in our community that are uh, just not based on facts and it's creating a lot of uh, uh, discomfort among our citizens and we wanted them to be able to get the facts. Now, Judge McGee also says he, he described the coronavirus as a community issue. Now, that means that even if someone thinks they're healthy, it could still be detrimental to someone, such as a senior citizen, if they're exposed to coronavirus. Live at Greenville, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.